In this video we're going to look at the trim function. What the trim function does it allows us to remove the trailing and leading spaces before a word and after a word. So if we look at the column at column C at the gender column okay you can see that I have male and female in this column. Now when I do a search for purposes later on in this uh, in this piece of work when we uh, start looking for um, for counts and things like that to count up values, we need to use strings in order to count. So it's going to count and add up um, values in the cell, and it will look for things like this. Okay, so in the speech marks, that's the string it's going to look for, and it will look down that list. And every time it finds male, it will add one, or we want to be able to add one to a count. That's fine until we get the issue where you have a space before or a space after the word. Because if um, there's a space before male, uh, that um, string there will not uh, count spaces before after after the, um, the 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 words. So what we need is a way of removing any spaces that have been added in error before or after male and female in that column. So we do that using the trim function. Now it's really really important that when you do this, you follow these instructions very carefully. The first thing we're going to do is to add a column between the C and the D column here. Okay, so to do that, I click on the D column, I right click on the column letter, and I insert a column. Now I'm going to just make this column slightly wider, and in here I'm going to put a title of gender trim. Okay, just so as I know what it is I'm looking at in the spreadsheet. Now what is important from this point on is because we've inserted a column between two text fields it's formatted this whole column as text so when I type a formula into a text column it will not calculate the correct value it will display it as text so the first thing that I want to do in this column is to highlight the whole column by clicking on the column letter and I want to drop the list down and select a general format okay otherwise the, fo the formula or the function will not work so I'm going to click in the first uh, cell I'm going to type in equals because all functions start with equals and I'm going to type in the word trim I'm going to open a bracket okay I'm going, then going to select the value that I want to trim so in this row I want to trim this value okay and I'm going to close the bracket and you press enter and it displays the word male okay so there's no spaces uh, before or after that value now. Um, what I want to show you though is the fact that this value here for example has a space before the F and if I look at the value in row 18 this value has um, a space after the E. Okay, So we're going to look at now what the trim function does when I copy this formula down or this function down. So the function is there, I'm looking at the small box at the bottom corner of the cell so I'm looking here okay and I'm going to click on there holding down the left mouse button and dragging all the way down to the bottom of the spreadsheet okay and now if I look at the value in column in row 80 in uh, column 2 you can see that there is no leading space and there'll be no leading spaces after the one in 18 either. So that is using the trim function. Okay, what we're going to do from here um, in, a, in a while is to generate a new sheet using these values. Okay, so that's how you use the trim function to remove trailing spaces.